Hello there guys and welcome back to some more fairy tale fables, still beta brands and it is still gonna be a, well, another asynchronic play here because no people online unfortunately for the beta branch. So uh, here we are, we are Fisher King, Sisyphus, Good Leprechaun or an Artemis. Hmm. Wouldn't mind to... I don't think Fisher King is that great because it's a random tier 6. I mean tier 6s are good. But it's a bit, well, random if you can actually use it. Free health is also fairly good on him, but... I think I'm gonna go Artemis here. I think, I think she's... Push, I mean, a ranged in position 1 is pretty good for tempo. Yeah, let's just go Artemis. I, I kind of like uh, the, the uh, range there. A ranged parrot? Uh, maybe, maybe. Are we gonna do that? It's it's a uh, it's kind of interesting, but also not really. <laughs> maybe we just go Cat Angel. I mean, that's pretty good ranged as well, and they got a little bit more health. I think we're just going Cat Angel. I'm a bit. Yeah, this this is the safe bit. That's the safe bit, isn't it? Uh, yeah, just do that. So it's a four, five. Okay, I'll take some. I'll I'll take some talking frogs. Sure, I'll take a couple of frogs here. We can actually only take one, and then yeah. Well, we'll definitely take one of them, unless we're selling the cat angel to get two frogs. But I maybe don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, and then again, and then again. <laughs> would that be very greedy of me? It probably would. Is it, is it worth it? Probably not. I think we're just gonna take this one and re-roll. Actually, I'm not gonna use... Do I use the mana here? No. Oh, okay. Well, that's about the same, isn't it? Uh, now we're gonna re-roll with this. Well, it worked out. Unfortunately, we can't really use our gold for anything. Well, maybe use it for... Hmm. Yeah, that might be... Either we go look for another frog, or we go for an early item and build up the cat angel. I think we're actually gonna build up the cat angel. Sort of. Sure. I don't, I don't really like it, but also because there's not really anything else in this shop that I would like to take, but like, yeah, let's just do it anyway, because I'm okay with it. Please hit this. Yes. Good. Very good. <laughs> that was very important. <laughs> that was very, very important. Uh, I mean, that's not terrible, I suppose, but. Nah, I don't I don't need that. Sure. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. That's pretty decent. I, I would also take another frog, to be honest. I would take another frog or another cat angel just to get them upgraded. But that's pretty good uh, tempo right here. Fortunately, he kicked out our range. So it's probably gonna be a win. Good, good tempo. Kicking out some early balls would be nice. <clears throat> Hook and... Cat Angel, I like it. Yes, let's see what item we're gonna get here. Uh, ice Ring, Boots, or plus one attack. Would the Ice Ring do anything for me? Not really. Uh, farming Tools is half decent for tempo. Plus one attack, I don't... Yeah, farming tools is okay, I suppose. Actually, gonna put it. <laughs> he's ranged in that spot. Uh, six eight actually is better than the six sixes now. So let's just put the cat angel over there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, ice ring, not really. Eh. Well, it's also okay, I suppose. It's okay, I suppose. Yeah, we do we do some really good damage to the boss here, <clears throat> which which is probably going to be important in the long run. I think we're just going to keep the tempo up actually. 
just go full tempo here and do a lot of damage to the board. Especially this guy, he's in front right now. It's, ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be tough to deal with. Hmm. Maybe we do 10 6 on the range bot. Yeah, so we can maybe maybe kick him out. That would be fairly good. Hmm. Go for another tier 3. I wouldn't mind the Elaine, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna go Elaine and the health here. I'm actually gonna put her up here. Have the princess in the back. Yeah, because you could, if, if we're lucky here, we actually get a really... If we hit first with our sprite, right? And kill the owl, and then the prince is gonna hit our cat. And then the Elaine is gonna kill the prince, and then he's gonna hit maybe the pook or something with the back. I think it's pretty good. I think these, this looks pretty good. Okay, never mind. Well, that's, that was also half decent, I suppose. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Again, we do damage to someone who had a pretty decent board. Another sprite seems good. Put the Elaine back here, maybe. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Nah, never worth it. It's just never worth it. One more health. Hmm. Love. Oh, nope, we didn't take the ice ring. Doesn't matter. Uh, do we take the impatient farmer to just go full hammer here? I think we do. Just full hammer. Uh, hmm. Something like that, maybe. It's all three. I guess the cat is better overall, just because of the health. Or oh, is it better to have a bit more damage on the... Nah, I think this is probably better. Let's just do it anyway. <laughs> Definitely the farmer is going to be better than the prince for now. Also tempo. Good. Decent. Nice. Get the stars off. Yes. Didn't quite get there. We didn't do damage, unfortunately. Hmm. Book mage. Cats. Fortunately, we don't have any of those things. Yeah. Yeah. None of this is really working out for me. So I think we are going to roll. Yeah, I think so. Let's roll it. Huh. I mean, the demons looks pretty good here. Also, the brave little tailor is interesting. Even the muddy crab is also kind of funky. Angel, we do have a cat angel that is upgraded, so angel warrior also look kind of interesting. It's, it's just a question of which direction we're gonna go here. Uh, I think the farmer might come out. I mean, he's still fairly good with 9-9, but he's definitely coming out next turn after that. The muddy crab could lead us into stealth. And if I do take the muddy crab, I'm tempted to also go brave little tailor instead of demons. But of course, this is pretty good value because we have two demons in there. Uh, <laughs> Fireball. Let's actually check up on this because it could be worth maybe fireballing this. Angels and... Seven damage. It might not do anything at all. It's probably not going to do anything at all. So I think maybe two tier four here is actually better. Uh, the problem right now is that the Brave Little Tailor is not doing a whole lot. I'm very tempted to go Angel Warrior. And the Ocean Crab. Doesn't feel nice, does it? <laughs> it's not exactly great, but it's also... I think the Brave Little Tailor could be good with just one spell, right? One spell and he's actually all of a sudden really good. Or an aura or something. Actually, just taking him here, we could... Yeah, he would actually have six. So even that alone is already now a pretty good unit for one turn. And I do also think the Ocean Crab is going to be better than this. 
That is pretty good, and it's leading us very early into still, which I like. And yeah, I feel like this is not a terrible way to go. It's a little bit more slow than going for the Harbringer. But I think this might be interesting to do, especially him here is probably good. With a bit of this coming out. Yeah, I like it. I like it. We can have him in there for one more turn and hopefully we're going to find some more ocean crabs or something next turn. More ocean crabs would be good to get more stealth. Maybe... Yeah, maybe a spell for him could be good or otherwise just maybe more demons. That's the thing. Right now we don't really have a really a direction. We just have a couple of good units that could lead us somewhere. We also have a pook so we could go in uh, what is called stars again. The stars are just so good that I'm always looking for them. We didn't see them in this shop and I thought, okay, let's go for the brave little tiller on muddy ocean crab in this case. Should be okay. Let's see. But I think we might lose this one. It depends on the... He lost He lost one damage here for one reason. Not sure why. He actually got killed straight up, so that was not great. That was pretty terrible combat log. I don't know how he actually lost a health or a damage there. No idea. Don't. Not sure what happened. Another muddy crab is fairly good. That is... What was that? Maybe that was outside. <laughs> I just heard someone yell or something. I thought it was actually on my speakers, but it was probably outside of my uh, apartment. Double Hellhound. Ooh. Ooh. Well, definitely one of them is going to be good, but I think maybe even going full... I mean, the Muddy Crew... <laughs> it's pretty good tempo, right? But we, we would need to take out the Stealth Crabs, which is not great. We can definitely get to them. We can get to them by just selling the uh, princes and stuff. I think it's pretty good idea to go full tempo here. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a very good idea because otherwise we will take more damage actually. I think we are gonna go full tempo here. Pop them in there because that is 2025. Uh, I guess we can have maybe double muddy crab in the back here instead of the... Uh, it's making them a little bit smaller, but probably that's going to be better overall. We also have a reroll. We could... Put, I guess I'll take a tier 4. I guess I'll take a tier 4. We also have a star girl, but I think it's a little bit too late for the stars here. I think I'd rather go double tier 4 here, upgrading him, which also make him way better. Way, way better. He's way more useful that way. Destroy character? Probably not. Could be good, maybe. Destroying the impatient farmer, getting a bit of uh, health out of that, but we'll see. We'll see. But I think this is uh, this is okay for this turn. I think we are okay here. It de actually depends on a couple of different things that could happen here. Uh, he's going spells pretty heavily, and then that radiant is kind of scary because. Yeah, we might actually take another hit. Um, we might actually take another hit here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay. Uh, he turned it into a uh, Tatiana. Wow. In that case, we are not good at all. That is crazy tempo. That is just, I can't, we can't, we couldn't have done anything here. We would have taken that damage no matter what. That was no way to deal with that. Even with him in there, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't really help. Immutable idol. It's well, it means we could go for another direction, basically, right? We could. We could go take the star girl, put her in there, and have the pook still getting him up scaling. We could go stars instead. Um, if we did that, even even getting fourteen fourteen on him is not terrible. Spell, I mean, Odin's is not doing a whole lot for us here, unless we're going spells. This is not doing a whole lot for us. One of your future treasure choices is one level higher. I mean, it's fine, but I don't like it. I think actually Immutable is still better here, just because we can actually get a couple of units to scale with it. And we can go for another direction. Um, but definitely not these guys over there. Uh, we, want, we want probably to take the Stargirl here, but I'm not sure. No, I'm actually going to re-roll this, I think. 
Love. Okay. She's pretty good with that. 14-14 on her. That is very tempting. But we're moving away from the uh, Hellhounds then. <sighs> what is that? Oh, permanent is actually only 5-4. That permanent is only 5-4. How is this actually... Permanent hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we actually keep them in there? Because they're going to be even bigger. Because it's the permanent stats that is getting upgraded here. So it actually works out. And we can even plop him in there instead of one of the craps. Which I'm... Maybe I'm actually going to go instead of the pook here. What is his permanent? His permanent is 6-6. Six, six, and then he had a food buff with 6-6. Six, six. Okay. We probably want to do it on him first then. I think we get the best value out of that actually. And also him attacking first might be the best. But I think the immutable here is actually working out with this. Because it's the permanent that is getting upgraded. The crabs are probably the only one that is not really getting a whole lot out of it. Also these are not getting a whole lot. But the hellhounds gets a lot out of it. He gets a lot out of it. And whatever we take it could still work out for a while. But just him alone is pretty good on. Just him alone is pretty good. Um, the Radiant is also interesting, but I think I'll rather not take a good character here and just maybe roll. I mean, one attack is also half decent, but I'll rather roll for maybe an if I don't know. I don't know what we could find here, actually. Zero six. Uh, that's a permanent, so probably not worth it here because we have the immutable. A million, nah, it's not. Again, the Star Girl is kind of interesting, but not not specifically. I think we're just gonna go into tier five and see what we find next turn. Is this scary? Is this any scary? I don't. It's not. It's not very scary. The, the yeah, the Husky is a little bit terrifying, but we might take another hit here actually. But I'd rather get him up and running here in the front line with the permanent buffs. So, yeah, we're going to give him that. That's a 2020. And he's ranged. <laughs> he's ranged on that spot. <laughs> he's actually ranged. And he's just killing people off. Oh, tie. I'll take a tie here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the ranged thing. That's actually... We could, put, we could give him... St stealth is really good. Stealth is really good here. Going into stealth is just fantastic. High demon is also good. But I think stealth is better. But I need to think about this one. How? I mean, they are just coming out, aren't they? Because we want the muddy crap in there to keep us going with the stealth. So we're going to do something like that, actually. Uh, uh, maybe the pook is even better in there, to be honest. We kind of want to scale someone else here. So I'm tempted to just do this and have him on the second spot. He's still going to be good because he's going to be stealth. So he's just popping out and killing someone, basically. Yeah, it's going to be good. He's, he's hopefully going to kill either the egg or the uh, big owl. That's going to be good. And Rapunzel 4-3, not really. I think this might be worth it still, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, but I actually, no, I'd rather have the stealth units in there. I think we're moving in the direction of stealth, plus a bit of scamming. I think that's probably our direction here. So I'm while this would be a very good unit to take, I'm actually going to go ahead and try and find more Seekers. And also another crap. Which we didn't find, but that's okay. Um, pouch. Stars. Uh, I guess not really for this one. I'll take a tier 3 upgrade. I'm okay with that, actually. Uh, yeah, take that. I'm okay with that. I'll take another thing here. Anvil's Wizard Hat or Life Essence. Uh, the aura is not permanent, so it would still work with the uh, immutable, so that's pretty good. Wizard Hat is okay, but not a whole lot more than that. But this one is also 1-2 stats, it's not really a whole big thing. So I guess the Wizard Hat is just making us cast a couple more spells, I suppose. Anvil, I think actually the Anvil might be better because we are probably more so looking for... At least in tier 6, we're probably more so looking for better items rather than anything. Especially more than spells. I think items might be good here. Because we're looking for the entrance 
entrance items and stuff for the uh, shadow things. So uh, yeah, that that would be that would be probably preferred, especially when we get to the next shop. I mean, the stealth is only gonna work in tier six if we do get the uh, shadow lord and the whatever his the other name is. Uh, uh. Mm. I can get to it, but it will cost me a sl I mean, is it worth taking a tier 4 here? Probably instead of the farming tool, yes. But we get one less stealth out of it. So in that case, not so much. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's actually that's kind of tricky because we do kind of want it, but not really. Not really. Do I even want the Hellhound over here? Because it's more likely we're gonna keep the Oblivion, but that's giving me one less stealth. But he's definitely good here. Well, he's already ranged, but I don't really need him to get the buff here, do I? He's already at twelve eight. No, that's the question. Oh, is the answer. But that doesn't, yeah. I guess the only one that I actually get anything out of it is the Hellhound here, unless I'm gonna pook. But I don't think so. But again, back to this. Do we do we really do we really lock this in? I mean we could potentially do a lightning strike here. Who are we up against? Oh, he's 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 dead. I guess it doesn't really matter too much then. Unless we don't win it, of course, but I think we're okay. That's a 24-29 hound. That's pretty good. Yeah. Alright. We just need to get to tier 6 pretty quick here. Yeah, let's go. Unfortunately, we get one less stealth, which is not terribly good, but power bag is... Mm. Uh, I guess the power bag is way better than the farming tools, but other than that, I don't really... Yeah. Odin's Raven, not really. Talisman is okay, but... Yeah, I guess that's okay. But yeah, I feel like just going for the power bag here, just a bit of extra stats out there. And we need to move these two around. Could we find another crap here? That would actually not be bad to take. Hardworking. You would make them really big out there, but I don't. I don't. Still, back protector with cheese. How's that working? <laughs> How's the back protector with still working? I don't know. Nah, I don't think that's gonna work out. Got some boosters. A bit of food. I don't think so. Mm, probably not. No, maybe this. 50% of the stats of your dead evil characters. Yeah, it's not terrible right now, I would say. It's definitely not terrible. It's pretty big, then. It's pretty big, and it's a tier 5. Don't often go for it, but hey, it's kind of working out here. The only thing that would be probably better is another crap. Yeah, sort of. But he's just going to make us kind of survive fairly easily. Sure, why not? Well, there it is. Uh, I think I do go take it and put it in there instead of the... I mean, it's one less evil character, but I think it's worth actually going ahead and taking it. Because more stealth equals, well, <clears throat> yeah, bigger units in the end. Yeah, the Hellhounds are also smaller because of that, but yeah, yeah, um, double salt here. Uh, yeah, I think we are, actually, I could lock that in and get a tier 6 here. It might be worth it, actually. There is a couple of tier 6s that would be nice to get, even if they're not the ones that we are looking for. I mean, there is not really a whole lot else in tier 5 that I'm looking for. Just, the only one would be more Matt's Oblivion Seekers. 
That would be the only thing. And this is actually giving us a chance of a tier 6 that we really want to see. Or just a decent tier 6. Because he's not really working out within this setup anyway. He's okay, but he's not great. So I think we're actually going to new you him. Or maybe one of the Hellhounds, because they actually are 14-14 permanently. Eh. I mean, he's pretty good, for just for tempo, of course, but... Yes! Yes! Go! <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted to see. Wow. Okay, now that is very good. That is very, very good. Uh, what are we going to put in there? He got 30, 20, 12, 8, 14, 14, right? Mm, I think I might put him here just to get him 12, 14, 14, right? It's not real. Maybe the crab, actually. Maybe I'll take the crab here. Because he's a 14, 5. This guy's too big already, so he will get uh, a bit more health out of it. So I guess we'll do that. Guess we'll do that, but it's it's not. This is not going to be good for long. It's it's just good right now. We're just getting a bit more stats out of it. That's basically it. I thought, wow, what a what a what a lucky punch there! <laughs> what a lucky punch that is. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, we probably want these in the front line, but we can't really do that unless we are doing this, I suppose. Sure. Why not? Uh, there's a big chance that if someone is big, they're probably going to be big in the back line now. Oh, well, actually, let's check that out. Mm, not really. Hmm. I guess that's okay. I'm okay with this. Um, Reroll. Well, that would bring us to tier 6 directly here, but... I don't think I don't want to re-roll. So I well, I want to be able to re-roll, so I don't think that's worth it. Double Tempe? Hmm. Seen a lot of the Crystal Sage here, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, gain 1 XP. If you lose a tie, the next fight, lose the XP gained. Um, I guess we could get to tier 6 that way, and that would be okay. I don't think we're going to lose that fight. There is a chance we're gonna get a tier 6 here we could use nah nah upgrades hmm the first four times one of your characters loses stealth because it's gonna be four times if i'm not mistaken actually let's check up on that uh shadow yeah four times Triple their attacks. I think we are locking that in. Tripling their attacks. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's flush a bit of this. Might even keep the goose just for a bit of a boost later on. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just do that. Hopefully we get a tier 6 we need. Uh, that would be the Shadow Lord or whatever. Shadow Bog or whatever. What is it called? Shad Dark Twig, right? Getting Dark Twig in one of these and then also have this one. That would be... We can't even get him then. We don't have the, the gold for it. But that would be uh, that would be an incredible shot. That would be a very good shot. Oh, they killed my Shadow Dude. But whatever. It doesn't really matter. He already gave the Shadow away. Ah, it was actually a lot more equal than I thought it would be. There we go. That's the cat upgraded, and that's gonna give us a massive amount of stealth. So now we're just looking for the uh, uh, twig, right? We're just looking for the twig. We want to roll again. We just want to. We we want to twig it. We want to twig it here. Nope, no twigs. Okay, fine. We're good. Um, hopefully, we find him soon enough. But otherwise, we are also decent here, I suppose. Got a lot of damage in the front. Oof, that click does not look good to me. I don't like that click at all. Uh, click. I don't like the click. I don't like the stars. I don't like anything about this. This this looks... This looked like a very big build. Ouch. We might actually take a take a beating here. Ah! 
I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Uh, I think we're actually gonna do this and move these to the back so we have all the stealth in the front. And then these are gonna be stealth as well, but... Kinda want him up here because if I could take out either the Star Child or the Clek, that would be... Even the other one is gonna be good. Any of them. Any of them would be good to just take out with the uh, brave little tailor here. And he's ranged when he's here, so <laughs> he might actually get to hit two times. But probably not. Probably not. He's going to get killed because of uh, the uh, still things. But just getting that off and just killing someone straight off the bat. That's very, very good. That's pretty good. All right, let's go. Hmm. Well, probably the worst one to hit, but whatever. Oof. Oof, the stars are hurting. But it, it, it went okay, I would say. Do, 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 do. Unyielding. Uh, no, I don't think so, because he's ranged when he's on this spot. And I actually think I'm going to keep him. So I don't think it's worth it, because he's not really... He's just a ranged unit. Uh, as long as he's there. T is... Sort of interesting? Kind of? Maybe? Maybe not? Definitely not against him, but let's just... I think it's this one is gonna be tricky. King Midas, we haven't seen... It's the farmer build. Okay, that could also be good with T. Also going into stealth, so he's basically looking for the same things as us. And then we have... I think it's gonna be this one. This is gonna be the one to, to beat, probably. Or maybe Midas here. I'm I'm not too sure how big that's gonna be. I mean, he got the herding dog, so and he also got the fisher. So he's basically just looking for Corky, I think. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing there. It seems a little bit tricky. It's your five narcissus. What do we want in tier five? What could we get here potentially that would be worth it? Underlying hero power, what is that going to do to me? Position 1? It. I don't know what that would actually do. I got no clue what that would do. Uh, precious, please. Yeah, I don't, I mean, Golden King is, nah, I don't, I actually don't think there's anything in tier 5 that we actually want, so I'm not going to go for it. I think we're just looking for the uh, Shadow Lord, uh, Twig, sorry, this, this, the Twig thing. Or a good item aura? No, it's not an aura, it's a still thing. But the entrance for um the entrance one would be good here. The entrance one. Well that would work with the uh, shadow um I'm call I keep calling him Shadow, but that, that this is this guy. Shadow Lord is that guy. The other guy is called Twig. Dark Twig or whatever. Uh Probably not. Probably not. Mm, another Shadow Lord. I actually don't think it's worth it. Uh, I think I think just one Shadow Lord, is, especially when it's upgraded, is fine. But this guy, yeah, we, we could get a bit more stealth out of that, I suppose. And we do, I mean, it's a tier 5 upgrade, which we don't really need. Double damage. Pretty good with Shadow Lord, of course. Hmm, I do think we take this and pop it in there instead of that, just to get one more stealth in. Actually, everyone is stealth now, so it's maybe not good, actually. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit worried about that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's also a smaller number, of course. Hmm. Ah, it should be fine. No, I don't want it. I only want to see one thing here, and that is the twig. Dying breath is not really going to do anything. Come on, give me the twig. Give me the twig. No, okay. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, 
All right, cool. Start the fight. That's a big wizard. Hmm. I guess we are okay. Yeah, we actually did some damage and got him out. Cool. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought we were probably gonna get a tie, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Reroll another shadow and Dr. Frankenstein. That is interesting. Yeah, I think we take him because we only have two characters up there. We could put him in the back, I suppose. I think we could take the muddy crap out actually in this case and actually put the hellhound in there again. Because getting him to summoning a lot of times uh, in front of the Shadow Lord here would give us more stealth. And we also have a dying breath to go with that. Uh, sure, a bit of scamming. I don't mind it. Uh, maybe like this, actually. Mm. Maybe we do this. Because he's gonna get stealth anyway. He's gonna get stealth anyway. Because when these are triggered, we're gonna get stealth on them. And then also take this for the... I guess we're gonna wait with that one. Just one more here. This should be pretty decent for stealth until we get our Dark Twig. I mean, yes, I don't get the rerolls here, but... This could potentially be very, very annoying for some of these guys. Because they're going big, big. And we are just scamming them here. Lots of scams in this. So it's a stealth scam. Uh, yeah, I think we're good with that. Let's just give him a bit more health because I don't want him to die too early. Okay, so he got four, five, he got five evil characters to die. That means two evil characters are coming out. Mm, but actually four characters is coming out because of the dying breath here. All right. Potentially. But I think that's what's gonna happen here. Okay. So, very big numbers here, but I think we can deal with them. Because of this. Lots of scams, and they... Yeah, this should be good. Come on. Ah, yes! <laughs> but that was close. That was close, but yeah, that, that, that worked out. That worked out. Um... Aura, no. Damage is not terrible, I suppose. But I, I think it's more important to just find the twig now. He, he's gonna have, I don't know, 50 stealth or something like that. It's gonna be big numbers. That's also interesting. That the Hellhound. One of the Hellhounds, really. Uh, yeah, I think that's worth it because of the build we have right now. It's even giving us more stealth, to be honest, because... Yeah, because when he dies, when he dies or the Hellhound dies, there's going to be more summonings coming out, and that means more stealth coming out, so I think that's going to work out. Quite well, actually. Okay. It's not quite what I expected to go for, but hey, well, we're going for a bit of a scam summoner build here. <laughs> and it kind of works out. It does kind of work out. Uh, but I wish we would see a Dark Twig. That would probably make it all a whole lot better. Sure. Ugh. No, I'm going to wait with that one. Because we could sell it for maybe three gold. Uh, four gold, actually, in a couple of turns. Sure, 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 sure. I don't think we're gonna put him in there. I think I'll rather have the Dark and Frankenstein because he could summon a lot of characters here. Uh, well, it's pretty much guaranteed getting a lot of characters now. Unless he's getting killed early. Uh, King Minus. Yeah, it's this. Okay, it's just this dog build. I think this should be okay against the dog build here. We'll see. That's not good. That's decent. That's decent. Nice. More summonings, please. Okay. Well, here we go. Pretty big. Mm, okay, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
Uh, entrance is very big. That is very, very good. Yeah, we take it because when we do get the dark, dark twig, it's going on him. It's just about when we find him. Reveal. I don't even know what we could get here. That would be better. Probably not worth it. No, dark twig. No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's anything else than Dark Twig now at all, actually. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I don't even know it. I don't even know it. I don't, I don't think there actually is. Just about finding him now. This also made it a little bit better. We got this. Oh, this is actually not an entrance. Uh, this is an entrance. I don't know what that's actually going to do. Unyielding, dying breath, yeah. But I took it because of the Dark Twig. That's the only key, because I know it's going to be good on him, obviously. Uh, tier 6 could be good to upgrade as well. So that's basically the two we look. Maybe another Frankenstein to get more summonings or bigger summonings out. That would also be fairly good. But Dark Twig would win us the game. Where well, this is kind of outscaling us right now. Well, also depending on the hits here. This is some pretty good hits. That wasn't, but whatever. Mm, okay. Yeah, this doesn't look too good. Uh, this is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, we can't do that again, right? We need the Dark Twig now, or maybe we are dead. Another entrance not gonna help me. We got we got a lot of rolls here to find him, but... That would give us another summoner. That would give us another summoner in there. But I'm not even sure it's worth it compared to just go look for him. I mean, there could be a couple of tier 5s that could work out here, but... It's a little bit risky doing this because, yeah, we're not... Excelibor would be pretty good here, actually. Do we need that? Not really. Definitely not that one. That's not worth anything anymore. So, well, it's all about finding that dude now. Um... Well, I guess this is like a little bit awkward, but it's actually, you know, it's fine. It's actually fine because they're going to die first. I mean, right now he's not in, um, he's not in stealth, which is a kind of problematic. Maybe we should do this instead. No, actually, I think this entrance should give us four characters worth of stealth. So I think it should work, but I'm not sure about it. I guess we will test that out, actually, what the entrance on him is actually going to do. Uh, was that stealth? Hmm. No. I no. It's no dark twig. That's also good, but it's it's uh, it's like uh, we might be dead. It depends on the hits as well. So it's a uh, this is very scary to take. It's good, but it's it's scary to take this because we have a not a lot of rolls here. Not a lot of rolls, and it doesn't really make our board any stronger right now. Might have been a mistake taking him. Oh, he's upgraded. He's upgraded. I forgot about that. Oh, I just did it. I just did it. <sighs> I'm gonna scam double here. We're gonna double scam. I think so. I think double scam could be good instead of the summoner. Yeah, we're gonna go double scamming. I don't think the summoner is better than Frankenstein here. The scams are definitely worth it. 100%. Double scamming it. Let's go. That was a good hit. And now we get our summonings out and we get more stealth, more stealth, more stealth, more stealth. He's dead. Okay, that's fine. And here we go. Now comes the scams, the first set of scams. Here comes the next set of scams. Is it enough? If the saga is gonna hit, it's probably enough. Good. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We got the scams going, the stealth scams. I would still like to find a um, twig here. Twig. 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 Interesting, but... Twig. Yeah, it's... It's... Uh, it's giving me another tier 6 upgrade as well. Potential. Sure. Twig. No. Twig? Twig me up? Please twig me? 
Can we get to it? Y yes. All right, we got a tier six and we did get... Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get here. I mean, another summoner is fine, I suppose. Boost effects are doubled. Aura, your first character stats are multiplied by two. Entrance is one time extra. Now, if we do get him, it's going to be good. I don't think the bottle... I mean, the bottle lightning is kind of interesting because of all the summonings we're getting. I can't be sure that I find him, and I think we could win by taking the bottle lightning, actually. Because of all the summonings, that's a lot of extra stats. Yeah, that seems to, that's actually because this is he's he's thirty six, thirty two. But any of these six times summonings is gonna be also double the stats. Plus, these are also gonna go down there very likely. It's just giving us even more summonings as well. Uh, or well, not more summonings, but it's yeah. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good actually. It's not it's still not better than the twig, but um, because we had so much, this the 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 twig would give us. More than 200 stats on everyone, I think. I think it would be over 200 stats on everyone with the uh, entrance here. I actually didn't check up on uh, if... Was he in stealth when we got in there? Let's actually check up on that. He is not. So that doesn't work. The entrance is not working on him. Well, this is works out because we got double stats, everyone here. So that's quite a lot of stats coming out. Just double out on stats everywhere. So it's just keeping some or oh, just killing these a little bit easier and then this one is also double stats okay little bit close here Oof. okay it's the tie but also a little, maybe a little bit unlucky with some of the uh hits there twig me gold me twig me there is the twig 71 it's actually not as big as i thought it was but you can just plop him in there and he's good. I mean, we don't have that extra evil character, but I don't think it, I don't think we care because we are still summoning. We're still summoning, so I think it's good. I think it's actually good. Because we keep summoning here because of him dying first, because he doesn't have this... Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Because no matter what, they're going to hit this dude. Or we're going to get a hit first, depending on who wins the 50-50. And when he dies, he's just going to start summon, 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 summon. So we still get the Frankensteins going even with one extra neutral in there. But he... Wait, I gave it to the wrong one. Whew, that was close. But his entrance is applied two times. So everyone is also going to be become huge, right? Even the summonings are going to be massive. That's winning the game. That's winning the game here. Do, 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 do. What are we looking for? I don't even know. Another twig? Could we twig it again? A stealth? <laughs> I mean, if we, nah, because I don't actually want to stealth him because then they might hit some of the other guys and I don't really want to have that to happen. I want him to die first. So, yeah, we don't even want that. Uh, sure, I guess. What is that? Dying breath. I guess that's worth locking in, actually, because we get more out of the Frankenstein. Is this just straight up better than... Ooh. It might just be better than this dude. Yeah, I think so. It might actually hit my... That's not great, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's the problem here. They might hit my uh, summoner, but even then, we have so many stats and. Uh, it's a, it's a, for the Frankenstein's. It's a bit worrisome here. Uh, maybe, maybe we should do this and have the cat here because I don't think the cat is gonna die very, very soon. And even if it does, it's probably better to have the summoner back here, making sure that we get as many summonings as we can before the Frankensteins are gonna kick in. Yeah. Because otherwise they would 
potentially 50-50% chance hit the Yash Demon, where here it's a hundred percent chance the brave little um the brave little teller is gonna get hit. And when one of these dies, the Shadow Lord is gonna still gonna work. So we got stealth for all the rest of these guys, even when one of these Yeah, it, it, it should be it should be fine. This should be fine. We just get a little bit less out of the cats and the stealth, but I think overall this is gonna be fine. And especially when we get another dying breath on the Frankenstein. Yeah, I think we should be good with the summonings as well. Let's just go, I think. Yes, let's go. And also all the uh, guys coming out here is also ranged. So it's kind of the summonings here are just completely... No, they're not, actually. Uh, this each fight. Okay, each fight. Fair enough. That would also have been completely broken. That would have been completely broken. Well... I forgot that it's only stealth units that actually got the buffs. Ha! Huh. That is a bit of a mistake. I might need to refigure. Well, doesn't matter. We won anyway. But yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot about that. It was actually only the Twix getting it plus the Shadow Lord. Because it's from the entrance, right? So we actually needed this guy to boost. We, one Frankenstein list would actually be better and have two more stealth units in there. That was massively big like them. But in the end, it worked out. But I kind of forgot about that. I kind of forgot that it's only the ones that are stealth to begin with that actually gets the buff. The twig was actually not as important as I thought he would be. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the scams. This was uh, a stealthy scam, right? It was a very stealthy scam where we're looking for twig where we didn't even need him. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was... It was fun. For me, it was fun, at least. Especially this guy. He, the very little tailor on a ranged. That was... Uh, that was incredible. I like that a lot. That was funky. That was funky. Yeah, I actually like this character because you can do a lot with that ranged thing over here. It's kind of a, it's kind of a funny character to play for some reason. Especially with Brave Little Tailor or something that can just destroy people. <laughs> click, right? A click here. Just... <laughs> <laughs> just getting his sleigh every single time basically uh or maybe two times a fight he, he could also be good over there i think yeah that was a fun fight i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you around next time